Barry Green and Damien 16 purchased a Tesla computer that was unlocked as a, and had developer access. Uh, and they've been able to create these videos showing how the Tesla computer sees the world around it. And uh, I wanted to show you some of it. Let's go over what it can identify. The, first, the green on the bottom is the possible driving surface and uh, it constantly updates what is a valid uh, area to drive. Notice here on the left the cones and it identifies the proper surface that is valid to drive on, uh, eliminating the space to the left of the cones. Next we see that it puts a box around every object that it can identify. It uses a red box for vehicles, a blue box for motorcycles, yellow for pedestrians, uh, purple for trucks, and green for bicycles. Uh, each object gets an ID uh, and then the percentage of I think how well it can identify the object, its distance to the object in meters, what lane the object's in, we're going to see more about that, and the relative speed to uh, I believe our vehicle, uh, and then whether it's stationary or moving so notice how it identifies the truck here in purple on the right as we pass it. And then notice all of the people that it's identifying walking on the street. And as we come up to these two people crossing in front of us with a stroller, I'm going to stop and it shows that it identifies it as a pedestrian. Notice all the IDs. Every uh, person is identified as a separate object and which way, uh, what lane they're in and uh, whether they're uh, what speed they're moving. Now watch this car as it comes at us uh, comparing uh, the speed of the car the, uh, to the cars that are stationary. So we're stopped at a red light here and we can see a bicycle is identified with green and then uh, we'll see people walk past where it identifies uh, the people very well as uh, they walk past and there's a jogger coming up I think on the right here in a minute and it also identifies someone jogging in front of us. So also notice that it uses different colors, red, purple, and yellow for line, lo line lanes. Also notice the construction here on the right and how it identifies the road surface properly. And then the in the very center, it shows the path that the car is traveling and uh, tries to predict the center of the lane that it needs to be in. I think Autopilot uses that to help steer. Now on the right we have a bicycle in green, bicycler, cyclist. Notice uh, how it looks with the pedestrian to the right there. Uh, and then uh, it keeps identifying the uh, cyclist as we drive further down this street. Now coming up on the left is a vehicle that's going to cut in front of us and I want to use this to demonstrate how it knows what lane the object is in. So we'll start from the beginning. It uh, is in the left lane, then it's an immediate left, then it's overlapping left, then it's in my lane, then it's overlapping right, then it's immediate right, uh, then overlapping right, and then in my lane again, and overlapping left. Never got to the right lane. On the right here is a construction vehicle. Notice how it picks it up and gets the correct height of the vehicle. It's not perfect. Here on the right is a dumpster and it identifies it as a truck. Another thing it seems to have trouble with is when we're making a fast turn here, notice it's not picking up or identifying all the people. In this one example, this person in red here it didn't pick up at all. In this example, there's a poster of a person uh, coming up here right there in the center and it identifies it as a person. Here's another situation. We have a person on roller skates and it thinks it's a bicycle, but then it eventually identifies it as a pedestrian in yellow. This is a real busy uh, intersection here with some strange person making a left-hand turn, but what you'll see here is on the right a person on a little scooter going by and it picks it up as a pedestrian. I thought this was interesting at how many people can identify. It really is doing a lot of processing to identify all those people individually. Here again, 
a lot of people on the sidewalk. It's picking up and identifying even each of them an object. Now the latest video from Very Green and Damien show us all six cameras. We have the left pillar camera in the top left, uh, the left rear facing camera on the bottom left, uh, same on the right, and then we have the fisheye camera up top in center and the main camera uh, bottom center. And notice that with V9, the uh, they're able to put a box around the object to get a better understanding of the object. Here we're at a stoplight and watch how it notices and identifies the objects as they pass in front of us uh, coming from the left through the center to the right cameras. Watch here on the bottom left, a motorcycle come up and it identifies it as it goes uh, th past and around the cars. Here a bus cuts in front of us and watch how it clearly identifies the size of the bus, the full size. Here we have a merge situation where we're going to merge onto a highway on the right and what's nice to see here is the bottom right gives you a very good view of whether cars are uh, in our lane so that we make the decision to merge or not. In this video we have a motorcycle coming up from the bottom right uh, and watch how it goes from the rear facing right camera to the right side then the fisheye picks it up and then the front facing camera picks it up at the bottom center. In this uh, video Very Green drives through the tail of the dragon uh, road or course uh, in uh, North Carolina. Notice the bottom center is the rear camera with that motorcycle coming up from behind and passing us. Watch how well the Tesla identifies the road surface and the road lines on this very very curvy road. This road is a mecca for motorcycles so you'll see a variety of motorcycles come up from behind here. And the Tesla vision system does a great job at identifying them. Pranav Gadali created this immersive video combining all eight cameras videos into one and you can literally scroll and use your mouse to navigate through the uh, 360 degrees. Watch as I move my mouse here to follow that motorcycle. I'll put the link to the video online. It's really pretty fun. You can hear me using my mouse to move the uh, camera angle. This video shows a construction zone, but prior to getting to it, notice the edge, green edge, uh, where it identifies the road surface. It's nice and clean here before the construction zone. Now we're in the construction zone, and notice the uh, edge of the green surface, which is the road surface. It uh, is very jaggedy uh, as it tries to identify uh, the valid road surface, but it does a very good job when there are just cones to know the basic edge of the road, which is a pretty critical issue. It also does a pretty good job at identifying the road lines, even though I'm sure the road lines here were pretty poorly uh, marked. So in this video, he's included the rear backup camera on the bottom center. The situation here is a merge onto a highway and what I thought was interesting is how it picks up the cars on the left cameras which uh, affect the merging the truck and there's a car there and watch how far back it still detects them as uh, we merge onto the uh, highway here. Next in the center lane that we're getting into there's a construction uh, warning vehicle that we're about to pass. Notice how it picks up the full height of that even though it's a super tall 
uh, object. Here we're pulling up to a red light and uh, what I thought was interesting here is that it, uh, watch how it analyzes all the cars as they come past and in a stationary uh, situation here it's still uh, detecting and analyzing on the right hand side the cars just behind us um, and uh, even the backup camera is able to identify cars. Now we're pulling into a Lowe's which is uh, a shopping uh, center uh, parking lot and uh, it's interesting how it picks up a person walking across in front of us here uh, and then uh, as we go down one of the uh, lanes here notice how it picks up all the cars um, that are parked this next example we back up in a parking lot so we're pulling out of a parking spot the bottom center camera is the backup camera the front cameras are on top of it showing us pulling backwards out of a spot there was no car parked in front of us they're turning as they back up there's a person walking there in front of us and then now they're going to go forward down the lane notice how it picks up all the cars in the parking lot moving cars and stationary cars this video is from a highway uh, notice how well it identifies that truck as it passes it showing all the camera angles again here on the left is a uh, truck pulling a trailer notice how it identifies it on the left hand side and then on the right coming up is another truck with a trailer that it identifies that we're going to pass there on the right so I really wanted to thank uh, Very Green and Damien for creating these very, very amazing uh, videos. And hopefully uh, you're okay with me doing this narration of uh, your work. Thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. The name's weird, but the game is great, and you can find games virtually everywhere. If you want six months of free supercharging, please use my referral code listed on the bottom left. My Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram accounts are listed on the bottom right. And please don't forget to subscribe and tell your friends. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.